We're back on the oh, Dickies, yeah. And I had a one. I had, did we have a blast with Foxy Harry? It, it was a cool. wonderful interview. Very professional. Very Milan. Very Milan. Now we're gonna take us to the A E B O E Y. How did we say that shit? That's fine. How did we go over the Ebony's? Welcome, yeah. Malaya. Malaya Ebony. Ebony. Better known as Q. <laughs> if you want to get technical. <laughs> Malaya is sitting. Yes. Sitting. How you been? Here's your class. She's a lady. Thank you. Now, Malaya, I, let's, I just want to basically break. I, I, basically, Malaya, where you started from? I need to know your back. Let all your fans and everybody know where Malaya came from. Um, I'm originally from Chicago. Mm -hmm. So I started off in 2000 as a Bush Queen. Q. Do you miss Q? Sometimes. Sometimes. Are you comfortable right now, like like in this type of way? And your name is Malaya. Are you comfortable as Malaya? Yes, I'm very comfortable and happy. Okay. Now, Malaya, it was, but for my allegations and sources, I like to clear everything up. You was a drag before, I believe, in Shot Town. <laughs> <laughs> and you moved, you went back to Q. Like, you, so if people don't really keep you serious. Like, what do you have to say about that? Why did you... Why did you yeah, why did you stop doing it? Like why did you stop and then went back? What was that about? Um, it was actually back in the day I used to play around. We would get on the party line, go out, have fun, just chill. Mm -hmm. So like I've been around a lot of them queens for like a lot of, for many years now. So it's like I've watched them, I've learned them and like I was finally ready to do it and be full time and make it happen for myself. So this is what you really want to do. What I really want to do. Do you want a pussy? I don't know yet. Let's see what the future holds. Implants? Oh, that's coming. That's coming. Oh, it's coming. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Speaking of a million, make that change down. So I think you will have it before some of the girls that have been doing this for years. Yes. Well, who are some of the fan queens you do look up to? Um, I look up to my mother Maya. Uh huh. Um, I Speaking of Maya, is she still a coin? Huh? She's still a coin? I'm not sure. Not sure, but I'm going to just jump into this because you said she brought Maya up. What happened with Maya and you jumping jazz when I coin? You and Maya was supposed to jump jazz. And let me tell you the story. Maya and Malaya were supposed to jump Maya icon at the Escalitas over your over Jasmine piece, who they said Malaya stole. And it was just a big altercation. Was this true? Um, if anyone knows Maya, and anyone that definitely knows me knows that I don't have to jump anybody. And <laughs> well, hey. but no, um, that allegation between me and Maya versus Jasmine, that was not true. Um, I don't have any problems with Jasmine. I don't know if Jasmine has any problems with me, but hey. did you still have men? Excuse me. Did you still have men? What do you? What is your definition of? Still? Oh well, he is he with you now? No, he's not. Not anymore. Not anymore. So he was with you. Yes, he was. He was. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <right. laughs> Now, back, and I'm going to jump into it now. My father was on the show. Shout out to my dad. And that's, your best, that's your best friend still? Yes. Now, it was a big altercation with Katrina. And I mean, remember Chantel. They was going to attack you for Donald. At one point, y'all was beefing. He actually talked about it on, my, on his episode. What happened with that whole ordeal? Um, can we touch bases? Yeah, we definitely can. I've known Donald for some years now. So... Like, we're real good friends. All friends have their ups and downs, and they go through arguments, and they go through fights. And it was a, one of the times that we had an argument, a disagreement. It didn't go too far. So, and right now, we're still friends. We're Best still friends. friends. Well, the allegation was that you didn't pay the rent. And uh, that's why everything happened. I don't know. This oh, is what Vicky Sources get. I, <laughs> you didn't pay the rent. Was it paying the motherfucking rent? But you make enough. But they said that's what happened. If you know I make enough, you know that wasn't an issue. I just had to, you know, because the fans wanted to know. I know, well, now you know. Now you know. Now, Malay, you're still at Ebony? Yes, I am. And are you going to switch over to drag performance? Like, what are you going to do as far as your ballroom? What's going on with your ballroom career? Right now, it's on a hold. You might see me attend a ball here and there, but right now, I'm focusing on myself and what I need to do is becoming a woman. It's becoming a woman. Now, what do the Ebony's feel about this whole transformation? You was a twister. Now, you was a twister. Now, I can say we was a Vogue friend doing it, but you was a twister. So, how do they feel about this whole situation? Well, um, it was kind of a shock. 
and it was very much no one really saw it. When I say saw it, that means no one physically saw me. Mm-hmm. So everyone had their opinion of what I looked like as Q versus me looking as a girl as Malaya. So when they actually saw me, it was very much wow. I live. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people don't recognize who I am, but once they sit once they sit around and look at me for a long time, they get the picture and they see who I am. Now, do you feel like you waited so late? And it, how, first of all, it was how old are you, Malaya? Well, you I'm actually 23. I'll be 24 on the 12th of May. I was speculation that you were 27. No, honey, I'm not 27. Do I look 27? Yeah. <laughs> That's what Susan says. So you're not 27. You're no, 23. Not 23. You're 23. Okay. So now, you, hmm? how long you been? First of all, how long you been in the game? Oh, you said uh, you Since said 2000. Two, no. I've been walking. That's a mistake. Not 2000. Since 2005. After I graduated high school. So you did, oh, did she graduate work, Malaya? Now, a lot of girls didn't do that. So you want to get the titties. You're moaning? Yes, I am. Moaning down. Going down. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know that's right. So, Malaya, so now you and Donna was that friend? Yes, best friends? Mm-hmm. Now, what happened with you and Justin Cohen? Yeah. It was a fight. I heard you blacked her eye. What was that about? Can we um, touch bases on that? Like I said before, friends, they argue, they fight. It was a personal issue, but we got past that. Yep. And we learned from our mistakes. And I'm pretty sure it won't happen again on his case and on my case. Because we learned, took that as a learning experience. You know, people go through stuff. And mm-hmm. if you can't learn from what you go through, then it doesn't make you a better person. So I've learned about my anger and my temper, so I've calmed down. Do you think it's, I heard it's, they saying that, you know, Malaya's going crazy, it's the moms. Do you think it's the moms a little bit, or? Yeah, some, there's some play in that. Some play in that. Mm-hmm. Now, what happened with the whole, I'm, I'm just getting into the drama right now, because the fuck the bubble drama Everybody loves the drama. Amanda, I heard you beat her for your dude. Is this true? Um, I'm not going to get too much oh, into that because I like to keep my shit. personal business to myself. But it was an altercation. And if you want to know what it was about, it was really about being disrespectful. Mm. I don't bother anybody. And if people don't bother me, I don't bother them. So therefore, I keep my name out of everything. And I don't get into too much shit, you know? Mm-hmm. So you know, but the fight it just had to happen. It's disrespectful. It happened. She got me locked, so I'm out. Are you still on? Sh- at, well, are you still dealing with this case right now, or um, is it squash is done the case? Are you still going to court? You have to go to court again. My lawyer took care of all of that. I know that's <laughs> that's right. Now, Malaya, I want to get into Jerry Springer. Oh. He was on Jerry Springer. Jerry, Jerry. What happened with the whole Jerry Springer case? Like, what made you do Jerry? I just, for fans, I want to know. That was back in the day. Um, Did you get paid? Yeah, I got paid. Okay. Um, we, was all, we was all sitting back in Chicago smoking blunts. And they had called one of my friends on. And nobody wanted to do it. So, I didn't think it was going to be that big on TV. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, we decided to go ahead and do it. The limousine came, picked us up. We went to Jerry Springer. And we taped the show. My dude, no. Someone that was supposed to go on the show before us ended up canceling. So we was asked to really carry on the show so that, that we can make the show longer because they didn't have another act to do that. Okay. But it was pretty, it was, I have Do fun. you, like, do you regret doing Jerry to this day? Um, honestly, I don't have any regrets of anything that I've done because anything I have done, I've learned from it. Mm-hmm. So it ain't nothing but made me a better person. So do you, so okay, in that case, so you don't regret doing porno. You did porno, as we know. I did. You said, would you do it again? No, I would not. Now, what made you do it in the first place? For the cash? Uh-huh. For the cash? Was it for coins? Or it was something to do? Honestly, anybody that knows me knows I keep it real 100. Mm-hmm. So, at, the, at that time, it was based on the cash. And it was there. And it was the opportunity there. And I needed it. So, I took it. You took it. So you, but you wouldn't do it again? I wouldn't do it You again. wouldn't do it again? So, you know what? We're going to have part two with Malaya, and we're going to talk about more stuff. It's getting hotter at the moment. So, we're going to come back with Malaya, Ebony.